Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over the formula for the cardinality of the union of two sets. We'll see what the formula is and why exactly it works. With an understanding of why the formula works, you won't even have to try to memorize it because it just makes sense. So let's get right into it. We'll use a Venn diagram to visualize this formula. We'll call this set over here A, and then I'll make a blue set right over here, and we'll call this set B. So we've got our two sets here, and now let's go ahead and actually write some elements in these sets. Let's say that A contains the elements 2, 7, and 4, and we'll say that A and B both contain the elements 3, 5, and 8. These elements are in both sets, which is why we write them in the intersection of these two sets. And then let's say that B has the elements 0, 1, 10, and 6. So we are looking for this, the cardinality of A union B, which is sometimes written like this, N of A union B, but we're going to use this notation over here on the left. So the cardinality of A union B, how do you think we find that? We know that the set A union B is this set here that I am highlighting. It's the set that contains all of these elements. Since the set A union B puts all of the elements in A and B together, you might be tempted to say that the cardinality of A union B is equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B. But this is not quite right. Do you see what's wrong with it? When you add the cardinality of A, you're adding a count of all of these elements. Then, when you add the cardinality of B, you're adding a count of all of these elements. So do you see the problem? We've double counted these elements that are in the intersection of A and B. Because we added them to our count with the cardinality of A, but then we added them again with the cardinality of B. So how do we correct this count? Well, since the problem is that we counted A intersect B twice, all we have to do is subtract the cardinality of A intersect B. So if A and B are two finite sets, then the cardinality of A union B is equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of A intersect B. This example is small enough that we could just easily look at these elements and count them up. But let's try using this formula to count the elements in A union B so we can see it in action. So the cardinality of A union B is equal to what? Well, first we have the cardinality of A, and we can think of that as being 3 plus 3, because it's the count of these three elements that are only in A, plus the count of these three elements that are in both A and B. So we can write the cardinality of A as 3 plus 3. Then to this, we have to add the cardinality of B. And we can think of that as being 4 plus 3. It's the number of elements that are in B, but not in A, plus the number of elements that are in B and A. So that's plus 4 plus 3. And I wrote it this way so you could really see the problem in action. You can see clearly how we double counted the three elements in A intersect B. So to fix that, we just subtract the cardinality of A intersect B, which we know is 3, so minus 3. So this turns out to be equal to 10, and we can verify that by counting up these elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's what the formula is for the cardinality of the union of two sets, and that's why it works. You count up the elements in the first set, and then you add a count of the elements in the second set, but then you have to subtract a count of the elements in the intersection so that you don't double count them. And of course, if two sets have no elements in common, which would make their intersection the empty set, then you'll just be subtracting zero when you subtract the cardinality of their intersection, so the formula is still correct. But that's all there is to it, so I hope this video helped you understand the formula for the cardinality of the union of two sets and why it works. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Never turn around on my time Everyone I know is never coming home So I can